What's up guys, it's Roger here, and welcome to my ultimate guide to the Shattered Heart, or better known as Statue of Dalmarok. Some of the items that you're going to need are as follows, and are on screen. Five herb seeds of any kind, preferably Snapdragon, Ranar, Torstall, any of those. 24 watermelon seeds to do your allotments. Magic Secateurs. Seed Dibber and Spade, bars of some sort, so for example iron or bronze if you want to go cheap, logs of some kind such as maple for fire making and fletching, a selection of teleport runes for when you're farming and teleporting around to locations to train your skills, a hatchet, a pickaxe, fish and or fishing equipment to get the fish for both your fishing and cooking rocks, planks of some kind and basic other skilling tools such as hammer and knife, tinderbox, etc. Before I start the guide, I would like to notify you all of the statue collection bag. Um, pretty much what it is, is uh, a way to get your rocks. You talk to either Marius or Barnabas here. Um, it has a look in option. You can, all of my rocks are in here, minus my last farming one, which I didn't get yet. Um, Oops, you click fill when all the rocks are in your invent and empty when they're in the bag and you just add them to the plinth when you've collected them all. And it will allow you to do all of them apart from the last one, which it won't allow me to do my last farming one because um, I need to wait a few more days. My statue day is on Mon uh, Wednesday and today is Sunday. When I'm, the day I'm recording the vid anyway, but I can't do my last one until Wednesday. So, um, yep, hope that helps, and uh, here comes the guide. What's up guys, Roger here. Um, we're going to start off with the Thieving Rock. Um, I figured I'd remake the guide, as the last one I did was pretty bad quality, and people... You know, I, I just want to improve the general quality of my videos, so I'm going to be remaking quite a lot of them, including this one. Um, for your thieving rock, pretty much all you want to do is uh, go north of Ardy. There's a master farmer here. Um, obviously, this depends on your thieving level, but I think you only need about level 50 or thieving to steal from them. And just pretty much spam click on them. The ideal location is in this building here. If you can get them in this building, you can. Um, close the door behind him and he's easier to see like he's just gone in there close door quick there we go there now 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 he's set and now he's up against the wall you can just steal from him as much as you like until you have your two strange rocks the next rock I get is um, my ivy um, these are in no specific order by the way I just do them in order that I feel like doing them or whichever's closest um, pretty much all you need is a dragon woodcutting axe, or uh, inferno adds, or if you can't even get either of those, a rune axe. Some guy <laughs> got crazy over my cape. Um, and just come to Ivy, I guess. Um, it's probably one of the best places to go. It's either that, or you can go to Willows. Um, that also works good, but you have to bank. So I just sit at Ivy. It's semi F cable. You don't really have to pay much attention, and the rocks just appear in your invent. The next strange rocks, um, I'm going to show you how to get our mining ones. The quickest, by far, way to do it is with an Abyssal Titan at the Rune Essence Mine, or Pure Essence, whatever you want to call it. Um, obviously, for an Abyssal Titan, you need like 94 summoning, so a lot of people don't have that, but it's quite easy to bank. Um, if you enter through your nail at the Mage Guild, you need level 66 magic to enter through there. Once you leave, you are really, really close to a bank. Same with Varrock. Um, Oops, didn't have that set on my scroll there. Um, it's really, really close to a bank, so you can just bank them manually, but yeah, I'd find it easy with an Abyssal Titan, but it's completely up to you. Um, as I say, the rocks are based off actions, so the more actions you get, the quicker you're going to get the rocks, which means you get an essence very, very fast, which means you're going to get your rocks very, very fast most of the time. So, yeah. Next few rocks are pretty easy to get. Um... I normally leave a space in my invent just because I don't really like uh, 
having my balls turn into rocks, but it's up to you. Um, I forgot to this time. Uh, reason being is because I'm trying to collect as many of my resources as possible uh, while I'm doing my strange rocks, and I don't know what I'm going to do with them. I'll figure something to do with with them once once I finish all 30 weeks of my statue. Um, maybe once I trim my cape, I might drop them all or something like that. But we'll see. Um, there you left with a strange rock, and that will happen again at some point. Um, Fletching rocks are usually quite hard to get. Um, I find maple longbows are good to do because you get alright XP, I guess, and they're pretty cheap as well. Same as before, um, the same maple logs I used for fletching, I use for fire making. Um, another reason I use maple logs, not only because they're cheap, is because uh, I do miscellaneous for my herbal rocks as well. And they're really easy to get a hold of, I normally get a few thousand of them a week, so I just use those. I think it's like five to ten thousand a week, something like that, which I will show you a bit later on in this video. Another simple but cheap method I use uh, is craft leather coifs for my crafting rocks. Reason being is again because they're cheap and because I can collect them. Um, I'm also collecting these and a bunch of other things. I will show you all those items closer to the time. Um, or when I finish my trim cap, I don't know yet. I'll decide. Uh, but yeah, um, another reason being is because of actions. Uh, with this you can get 26 actions per invent is one leather one piece of leather only makes one cowl rather than taking up multiple pieces of leather to make one cowl so you get the maximum amount of actions per invent my smithing rock is also pretty simple and based around actions uh, iron bars because they're cheap and iron throwing knives you make five per bar and it only uses up one bar per action so as again gone for the actions so you'll get maximum actions per invent and the iron knives are really cheap in themselves so they're pretty easy and nice to collect so you can get um, 27 actions per invent I've had a few experiences though where I get my rock on my first item in my invent and the rock will drop on the floor even though they're not supposed to drop on the floor so look out for that if you're doing that um, because it doesn't turn bars into the rocks as far as I'm aware if you're doing knives anyway because it would have to turn five out I don't know how it works but just watch out for that and another cheap sort of collectible method I use as again it's completely up to you which method you use because I'm doing this mainly because I want to collect them but I mean if you want to get better XP then you can do rock tails or whatever but I'm doing tuna just because I can buy it in bulk and it's really cheap and it's easy to collect in its cooked form so and you get 28 actions per invent with cooking so it's quite nice and you tend to get your rocks pretty quick here um, as again though your, ro your uh, tuna or whatever fish you're cooking will turn into a strange rock so keep that in mind for whatever fish you're cooking if you don't want to lose uh, rock tails uh, a couple of thousand GP each um, it's pretty simple to get your fish in strange rocks um, depending on your fishing level I would do monkfish up at Piscatorus. You need to do uh, what quest is it? Fishing colony. No, what is it? Oh, something like fishing colony or something like that. Um, if I remember, I'll put an annotation on screen. Um, I can't be bothered to look it up right now. <laughs> uh, but yeah, fish monkfish. I normally get um, both rocks in the same invent. I don't know why this is considerably faster than everything else fishing wise, but it is, so uh, it's worth doing. And uh, I don't think I've had one time where I've not gotten both rocks in the same invent, so you should get them within five to ten minutes here pretty easily. For my agility rock, I usually do a, a lap of the um, Barbarian Extended course, as I find this one's the best. Uh, not only that, but I find it easier to click than the... Not Barbarian... Not... Ah, sorry, Gnome Extended, not Barbarian Extended. 
But I, I find this one easier than the Barbarian Extend because I just find it easier to click on and, you know, it's more sort of user friendly, I guess you could say. Um, depending on your agility level, I believe you need level 85 agility to do um, this course. But if you have lower agility, then you can pretty much do your best course, um, Ape at all or anything like that. You can get the rocks from there too. Just depends what level you have. If you're high agility, though, I would suggest doing the norm extended. Um, the way I get my construction rock is <coughs> another collectible oak chair flat packs. Pretty much just sit and make an invent um, of the flat packs. I normally have 26 planks, or what? Well, Cause, but I have to bring a telly tab and my saw and hammer. Um, although you can get them off your rack on your wall um, and I'll just do 24 after I get one strange rock to make it an even number although this takes two planks it's about as good as you can get um, once you uh, yeah I'll put the video back on when I finish them alright I'm finished I've got 12 flat packs simply what you do is bank them enter the amount 12, it would normally be 13, but your uh, servant will bank them. When he comes back, just tell him to go and get your 25 oak planks to start with. Um, after then it will be 26, until you get a strange rock, which point it will be 24. And uh, It's up to you, I mean you can do something like larders or whatever, but I'm doing this, as I said, to because I'm collecting them, but it's completely up to you. To get my hunter rocks, um, I simply just come down here to Reg and Chompers with all the bots because, yeah, I find this easiest way to get bots. And I mean, you can do herbal habitat too, but it's completely up to you. I just find this easier. Um, yeah. Um, so if you bot hunter in World 91 and you're wondering why your bots are getting banned, this is why. I'm writing all the names down and reporting them to Jagex. So uh, if you were bot and hunter in World 91, you wonder why your bot's banned. It's me. Um, but yeah, to get your hunter rock, you can do falconry. You can do herbal habitat. Uh, falconry works pretty well, but it it always seems to be slow for me, so I just don't bother with it anymore. I just do red shins. Uh, it's completely down to opinion really. Um, this one tends to be quite slow though. Um, to get my runecrafting rocks now, uh, lag. Not sure why I'm lagging, but anyway. Um, yeah, to get my runecrafting rocks, um, I simply bank a Varrock and I run all the way over to the air altar. I used to use the abyss, but I decided I don't really like the idea of running through the wilderness. I mean, people are idiots these days, and will still kill you for a glory like it's 2006. And I forgot my pouches as well, sorry. <laughs> but yeah, you know what I mean. Uh, run backwards and forwards to the air altar. Um, either wear an air tiara or an omni tiara to save an invent space for the uh, talisman so you get extra essence other than that it's pretty simple and uh, as it goes by actions you get 28 actions per invent if you use pouches you get more actions to get my herbal or rocks you need to do um, throne of miscellanea and preferably royal trouble as well but you come to miscellanea um, I do tend to do it once a week just chop your trees until it says don't trouble yourself any further go upstairs I've got this shit on me because I've got my banks full so uh, yeah I'll show you what I get when I bank uh, these are the resources I've got um, about 7k maple logs which I use for fletching and fire making 41 seeds nests which is can be quite good money at times bunch of herbs and a few seeds and pretty much what I do is I just clean the herbs to get my herb low rocks now do my farming run to get my farming ones. I'll show you my farming run in a second. I start my farming run here at Trollheim. Uh, this is what my invent usually looks like. 14 pots of super compost. Um, the dragon hatchet isn't supposed to be in there, but I was wielding it from my last trip. 
Um, yeah, uh, the runes are for Camelot teleport, so I can go to the herb patch there. And then the RD patch teleport on my completion escape. And then port phasmatis with the ectophile and the cabbage port with the explorer's ring after that. Um, I'll put a list on screen of the um, farming patches as well so you can get an idea. And uh, other than that I do watermelons. I couldn't get my hands on some white li lilies so I planted nastiums which was a hint from somebody else who commented on my last strange rock vid so thank you for that because I didn't know until you told me um, but I do my herbs on every patch and then the cabbage, the watermelons around it to get the uh, maximum number of actions from my farming patch and I usually get both rocks in the same farming run